Neat Robot, a fully autonomous mobile robot that will be navigating through Amsterdam's canals. It is equipped with a LiDAR sensor, along with cameras and ultrasonic sensors for obstacle detection and avoidance. Rowboat uses ROS. It will take passengers on board, as well as help clean the channels, build infrastructures, and more. Focal Fossa donned his racing suit and drove in the AV21. On October 23rd, nine autonomous racing teams competed in Indianapolis to see who was the fastest, a challenge for innovating in the field of autonomous vehicles in this high-speed scenario. The final race had all the theatrics, from some impressive spins to crashes. At the end, the Technische Universität München Autonomous Motorsport triumphed. Ross was there, and Ubuntu as well, powering the racing cars. Congratulations to all the teams! This is Leo, a bipedal robot with a drone-like thruster system and high heels that, in combination, allow the robot to achieve sustained flight. This sustained flight enables Leo to perform difficult balancing movements and tasks such as navigation in irregular terrain. This robot can walk on a slack line or even skateboard. These activities are high dynamic balancing challenges for any bipedal robot. Take a look into the future of socially assistive robots. Not all of them have to look like humans or animals, and Postplant is a great example. Inspired by plants, Postplant responds to touch instead of language. With Postplant as a starting point, robots of the future will communicate with us in their own way, without having to mimic human behaviors. Finally, look at this application for drones. The Cumbre Vieja volcano on the Spanish island of La Palma has been erupting for eight weeks. This caused the evacuation of 7,000 people, but many pets have been left behind. To help with the rescue, drones have been deployed to not only locate people, but also to transport food to the animals. This shows how drones are being used today to support rescue operations during natural disasters.